Well guys, in this video we're gonna create a simple script that would parse the HTML response into the JSON file and we would be taking all the tags that contain text and store the tag name and the attributes if available. So let's jump in. First we need to import the request library and the beautiful soup parser. So from this for the port beautiful soup. Now let's make a request. So requests get and I will use my GitHub repositories URL to actually parse the content from this particular page here. And Create a content variable to store the parsed page, and here we use the beautiful soup response.txt. Don't forget this text attribute to actually parse the text response, not the entire response object. And I use the alexml parser, so let's try to print the content to make sure. The URL has been fetched successfully. So, free HTML to JSON. Okay, so we got the response here. And now, uh, what we actually need, we need to convert this bunch of tags into some sort of a structured. Uh, some some sort of a structured form, and for that purpose, we'd be using the recursive child generator method from the beautiful soup library in order to obtain all the tags that contain textual data, and then to store the parent tag and the attributes if available. So, first, we'll loop over. Over the tags recursively, so from tag in content recursive tag. Uh, oh, no, not the tag recursive child generator like this. Let's try to print the tag. Okay, now we need uh, to choose only those tags that uh, are kind of leaf nodes. So, uh, well, it's not really tags from like HTML perspective, but they are called tags from the beautiful sub library perspective. So I just need to say that if tag name is none, so in this case, this case uh, we're at the leaf node. And what we want to do here is actually we want to uh, print the uh, print the tag itself, and in this case we would have only the textual data. So it's not really that pretty printed, but how to pretty print this response would be the topic of the next video, I believe. But now we only need to extract the data, textual data itself, along with the tag names. So, uh, well, in any case, uh, we need to ignore. Okay, just tag. In any case, we need to ignore the tags that uh, are empty, are kind of empty text. So, say and tag not. Uh, I'm sorry, and not tag dot. This space. So now we see absolutely the same, but without those kind of uh, much empty spaces. Well, still some here, but these are. Uh, we, uh, th this appears because there is some new lines and extra uh, unneeded characters. So if you just try to strip them, probably would have a way better response. Okay. 
So now, now it's pretty nice. So um, let's actually try to make. Uh, let's first try to make that item variable just to make it easier to see uh, what we are actually parsing here, and we want. print actually the tag and the value or maybe the text well, let's call this the text okay and also the attributes like this and before we go in there just want to import the JSON module to pretty point the JSON response so uh, I need JSON dumps item and I want to use the indentation equal to two spaces here. So the tag would be tag dot parent. Remember that the tag itself is none, so it doesn't have any parents. It only has the it's actually the string and we need the tags parent so tag the parent dot name and the uh, the text would be tag dot strip so to avoid adding those new lines etc and regarding the attributes so uh, this is about the tag the parent and that's some sort of addiction right so the key is called address if memory serves me correctly so let's actually try to see what we got here okay so it doesn't doesn't have the attributes okay let's let's just command that out for now I just want to see the other okay okay so the tag name the text okay this is good so It doesn't have the attributes. Well, maybe, maybe it's not a dictionary. Maybe just call this like this. I'm not sure. Okay. So yeah, guys, I'm sorry. The uh, the attributes. Uh, that's just the. Uh, that's not the dictionary. Just you have to access this as the class uh, as the class attribute like this. So here we have the attributes as well. Well, this is pretty it. And the very last thing we need to do here is actually to append, let's create some sort of the results list results. And here we just results. This information here, and at the very end, we just want to write the results to JSON files. So we open. Mm, let's call this out to JSON. And we want to write the string as as. So for okay, let me think. What's the better way of doing this? Hold on a sec, guys. Okay, as far as this is not the CSV results, like not the results that we used to surf into the CSV file. I need to reformat this a little bit. So results would be the object itself, and we'll say we call this. The data and this would be the list and here we just say results data event and just before the phone let me quickly check this out Spaces. 
Okay, and here we might have a blade on spray run. Well, okay, I just show you this in default to avoid wasting the time. So yeah. as the string. So JSON dumps converts this dictionary into the string format. That should be written as the JSON format. So let's try to roll this one more time. Okay. And here we have our JSON output. So okay just a bit wonder why it didn't actually well, actually, this is correct response, but it's not exactly what I did. Ah, it just prints the results data. Okay, so in that case, probably, yeah, the JSON dumps can work with a list. Okay, so don't need this data here. And we just print the results. So we can just dump the results. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting probably absolutely the same yeah sorry sorry for that guys so we don't really need to create an object like just can use this list here for this is just okay for for the JSON file and the output so we have the tag the text for the tag so attributes are not available all the way all the way around so just some tags has have attributes and this is this is pretty pretty cool basically so we can see like all the data in the structured format and if we at some point need to search you can just search this is a text document and uh, whenever you found some kind of sort of text you need that you can see like what tag does it belong to so this is it for this video i hope this was useful and take care